subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome learners today we are going to discuss about the consumerism and environment this topic seems to me to be an interesting because we all in our environments are buying uh, or are buyers for nature we live in a very materialistic world that only devotes himself to think in obtaining things and who has better nobody stops thinking about on how the products that we consume are made and the effects that produce on the environment because of the production of such products and use of natural resources for producing such products so before we go in discussion how the consumerism is related with the environment let us have a brief understanding of the consumerism consumerism is concerned with the protecting consumers from all organizations with which there is exchange of relationship consumerism means organized efforts by individuals groups governments to help protect consumers from policies and practices that infringe consumer rights to fair business practices so it is a set of activities of government businesses or independent organizations and concerned consumers that are designed to protect the rights of consumers so where from the origin of consumers uh, happened so in the existing markets of production run in shortage or adulteration or black marketing prices so this has been happening since the industrial revolution so the industrial revolution also played a major role in spread of consumerism besides these activities uh, like the profit uh, making attitude of businesses fail to discharge social responsibilities for maintaining fair price quality of products and providing services for example toothpaste is filled with air so this is kind of a malpractice so in the begin of the 17th century england and soon this consumer consumerism concept of consumerism spread to many other countries like in europe northern america and before the start of industrial revolution goods were produced in a system referred to as cottage industry so let me tell you in brief first industrial revolution happened from 1770 to 1830 it was about all the mass production it was focused about the mass production and second industrial revolution happened from 1830 to 1880 it was uh, all about the means of transportation and then third industrial revolution happened in 1880 to 1945 it was all about electrical component of steel and then fourth revolution is 1945 to 1990 it was about nuclear technology automobiles trucks tractors aircrafts and petrochemicals and the fifth industrial revolution right now going on from 1990 to to date till date it talks about or it is focused about space uh, technology computers electronics robotics satellites genetic engineering biotechnology cloning nanotechnology and what not so this was a uh, very brief about how this consumerism got their origin so why consumers buy more so there is some points why consumers buy more products for example there is an addiction so understanding why consumers buy more is to uh, is a key to developing a successful sales strategy however this knowledge is not always easy to come 
so first is the addiction why the consumers buy more is the addiction is a psychological or physical inability to stop consuming a chemical like drug or activity or a substance even though it is causing psychological or physical harm then the second one is the identity the distinguished character or personality of an individual this is also a, a problem uh, why consumers buy more then the lifestyle lifestyle is someone's way of living the things that person or particular group or people usually do so next one is the importance of consumerism so why the consumerism is important uh, first of all to stop unfair trade practices like we have discussed about uh, there is a degraded quality of the products uh, we should stop uh, that kind of trade practices provide complete and least information uh, discourage anti social activities implementation of consumer protection laws and protect again against exploitation these are the importance of consumerism so the, what are the responsibilities of the consumers first is the critical awareness that is one's ability to properly acquire data to process it use using critical thinking second one is action the process of doing something especially when dealing with a problem or difficulty then social responsibility it is an ethical theory in which individuals are accountable for fulfilling their civic duties uh, the actions of an individual must benefit the whole society in this way there must be a balance between economic growth and welfare of uh, the so, uh, of the society and the environment then there is social awareness is an integral part of the moment's success by teaching our friends and family that the physical environment is a fragile and indispensable we can begin fix uh, fixing the problems that threaten it and the last one solidarity uh, is the unity unity of feeling uh, especially among individuals with a common interest mutual in, uh, support within a group and uh, these were all the responsibility of a consumer so what are the rights of the consumer so first is right to be informed so any uh, one has to right to be informed how uh, their data is processed uh, for example this is designed to ensure transparency over how you use personal data and encompasses your obligations to provide fair processing information second is right to safety is to be protected against products production processes services that uh, are hazardous to health or life and then freedom of choice is a competitive society uh, rests on the fact that if, a, if one person refuses to satisfy or wishes we can turn to another so it is our choice for example if one cellular company didn't provide us uh, our uh, basic needs like good uh, networking or internet speed we can choose another so there is a mobile number portability system in India then write uh, then consumer education uh, consumer education is a right that consumers have to right to know more about products that they are uh, going to purchase or they are purchasing so the right to secure balance or ecological balance and pollution free environment so these were all the rights of a consumer so what are the advantages of consumerism first is there is more industrial production there is higher growth in a rate of economy there is more goods and services available because when there is competition more competition for the good quality of the uh, products suddenly there is 
good services available so more advertising since uh, goods manufactured have to be sold there is more advertising increased production will result in more empl employment opportunities a variety of choice for goods and services there will be a variety and more comfort uh, for a better living style so what are the disadvantages of the consumerism first that it depletes the natural resources of the earth and causes the pollution and the wants and desires of the people change according to the time the more their income the better their purchasing power but in case they not, are not having able to do so then they feel dissatisfied a car for each individual would mean gradual erosion of public transportation for example right now there are many cars so there is less focus on the public transportation like there is less investment in public transportation so the people who are not able to purchase their own car have to uh, travel in public transportation that gets gradually eroded because of uh, personal uh, cars or private cars crime rate also incre increases as the want of people uh, possess them by expensive gadgets personal relationship also gets affected as people are busy trying to earn more to maintain their living standards so each and every individual um, in uh, this developing worlds or developed worlds try to uh, go on the job to buy more expensive things gadgets so that their lifestyle get uh, a standard and they get a satisfaction in their life so the how consumerism uh, works out basically it's uh, divided into five parts uh, like a linear system but in spite of the fact that uh, this is what we know a reality it is not quite since many spaces are absent without filling this is usually a system in crisis because it is a linear system that begins with extraction uh, extraction and ends up rejecting everything uh, that is produced so this is consumerism basically a kind of linear economy so in earlier one of the lectures I have discussed about the circular economy so in that circular economy we have discussed how each waste generated at each step turns to be in a circle as an product or as an uh, source for new product so that was discussed in separate chapter i will provide the link in i button here so the five steps of the linear economy is the extraction then production distribution consumption and disposal so there is nothing this products will go again uh, in the production system so that the extraction will become less so there is a problem with the linear economy so amid having the limited resources available so we should focus more on the circular economy than on linear economy so the first is extraction resource extraction refers to activities that involve withdrawing materials from natural environment logging on uh, logging is one an example of uh, resource extraction like uh, <clears throat> from the foresters if not done in sustainable manner logging extraction of trees and their removal causes other changes that can result in soil nutrient removal from the lodging area or can cause uh, the uh, soil erosion or neutral removal so it is uh, to take out uh, resources from the planet for extra operation of the project uh, products or personal benefits this is called an extraction second one is the production stage uh, this is a later the resources are taken to the factories to make the final products which make with toxic components the production process is concerned with transforming a range of inputs into those outputs that are required by market this on, on involves two main uh, sets of resources first is the transforming the resources and second one is transformed resources 
any product process involved in a series of links in a production chain. Then the distribution system, uh, a distribution channel or a system is a chain of business uh, or intermediaries through which uh, a good or a service passing until it reaches the final buyer or the end consumer. Distribution channels can uh, include wholesalers, retailers, distributors, or even the internet. Like now we have e-commerce websites. And the consumer the consumption, the process in which the substance of a thing is destroyed, used up and incorporated or transformed into something else. So consumption of goods and services is the amount of them used in a particular period of time. For example, we are using the we are wearing the shoes. So particular time we are consuming, and later on, we are uh, just letting go to the or disposing of or our electronic gadgets over the period of time it gets degraded and then we throw it. So this is the consumption. Then disposal. Disposal is the action or process of getting rid of something. So. For example, in this picture, when we uh, drink any water or cold drink, then that is packed in a pet bottles. So we consume the product and dispose of the packing material or the bottles into the environment. It is act of rejecting everything what else is considered to be uh, considered as a garbage. So this is the problem here. So what are the consequences of the cons consumerism. So consumerism has also resulted in ecological balance, imbalance. So what materials we are taking from the environment, we go through, it goes through the linear economy like uh, production, distribution, consumption and disposal. So it doesn't uh, uh, circulate uh, or it doesn't go back to the system. So it causes an ecological balance. So we are extracting nutrients or minerals from the earth and uh, certainly over the period of time, these nutrients get degraded. Like the forest, we are cutting the for uh, forest trees and then over the period of time, that land gets, um, the nutrient level of that land gets degraded. Soil erosions uh, get started in that area. So it causes ecological imbalance. So it destroys natural habitat to create more goods and more buildings. So we are uh, going for the mining in the area. We are going for extraction of minerals in terrestrial areas and also in aquatic areas. So it creates problem. It uh, de degrades or destroys or fragments the natural habitat of many organisms. So which has eventually significant uh, effect uh, on weather also. For example, if we cut the forest, just so certainly the microclimate of an area and overall the climate of the country will change. So the global, global warming will eventually result in health problems. So as we know, the global pro warming is basically happened because of uh, greenhouse gases like methane, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide. So when we go for more production of the products that releases more greenhouse gases. For example, if we go for more paddy production, it releases more methane. If we go for more fertilizer production, it releases more nitrous oxide. Certainly, when we go for the deforestation, carbon dioxide emissions increase. We go for the fossil fuel burning, carbon dioxide emissions increase. Certainly, this will result in global warming and overall, um, by and large, it can lead to the health problems. It is basically leading to the health problems. Then industrial pollution, maybe it is soil pollution, that is local problem. Water pollution, that is a national problem or a regional problem. And air pollution, that is a global problem. So industrial pollution is of different levels. So these were the various consequences of the consumerism. So as a wise consumer, we must consider our sales, not just focus on one, must be able to buy the basic important needs that we have that we need in our daily life how anyhow a consumer must check the quality of a product and understand how to manage it as well as to use it like 
you know, before buying a product, we must ask some question to ourselves. Do I really need it, this product? Is it worth? Do I have something similar? Like oh, if we have uh, something similar um, from which we can uh, get service um, instead of buying a new product, is it really good quality? Like quality in the sense if it is environmentally safe, uh, if it does not create any health problems or any kind of hazard. So before purchasing any product, we should consider these questions so that we can become a wise uh, consumer. So this was all about how we can relate consumerism with the environment. I hope you all enjoy. Thank you.